And we're gonna focus on thoracic <laughs> or mid, mid back mobility and strength because it's the key, the key, the key to unlocking the back and the neck. So you'll start in a standing position and we're just gonna start with a couple of forward folds and getting your wiggles out. And getting your wiggles out means just kind of wiggling your, uh, bending and straightening your knees as you're bending forward. And then just kind of on, off, on, off with those knees where you're bending, straightening, bending, straightening, kind of like you're just trying to get your wiggles out. And then coming back up, you'll bring arms up overhead. You'll go into another forward fold. Again, tuck the chin, roll down, keeping those lower abs on, reach towards the floor, wiggling those legs, bending and straightening the knees opposite, side to side to get your wiggles out. Then coming up, we're gonna go into a baby back bend. So that's kind of like making those field goal post arms, squeezing or pulling those elbows down then forward and rotate or forward fold forward again you can get your wiggles out if you want to you'll come up nice and big big arms and go into that baby back bend again being sure to breathe reach forward and on this next one you're gonna do a nice big sweep of arms up overhead then come into your baby back bend, squeezing those shoulder blades, taking those shoulder blades, pulling them down and in. And we're gonna move into a, adding on a new move. It's a barrel hug. So you're going to reach forward as if you're hugging, giving somebody a hug, and then you'll open up back, driving those elbows down. I usually tell the women, the ladies, engage your bra fat or bra line, driving those elbows down, reaching forward again, hugging, opening up those ribs in the back, then exhale, coming back into that barrel stretch, stretching the pecs, driving the elbows down. Let's repeat that three more times. So coming forward as if you're hugging opening up the back and the, the mid back, then exhale, engage the lower back, those triangles of your shoulder blades, and repeat that again. This is something you can do seated at your desk. Squeeze. I'm gonna scoot my chair forward so you can see me in my chair. Let's do one more so you're Hugging forward, you could do this in your chair, and then coming back, squeezing, squeezing those elbows, driving those elbows down, squeezing those muscles in the back of your shoulder blades. From here, you're gonna take it forward into a forward fold, coming forward, walking the hands out, coming down to all fours, getting ready for cat-cow spinal flossing. So this one, you're gonna draw those lower abdominals up, rounding the back. And then as you sink, you're gonna exhale, sink between the shoulder blades first, head comes up, looking up towards the ceiling. Inhale, drawing those lower abdominals up to the back of the spine, tucking the head and chin and exhale, sinking between those shoulder blades first and then looking up. Good, repeat that three more times. This is just good for uh, flossing the nerves in your neck, mid-back, down to your low back, getting some movement, some blood flow, some space to those nerves. Let's repeat that again. Exhale, look up. And when you're doing this cat-cow, I want you to still focus on those lower abdominals and your breathing. 
So drawing those lower abdominals, those, that belly button up to the back of your spine, pausing there and then exhaling, sinking between the shoulder blades, looking up, moving those muscles between the shoulder blades, moving those bones between the shoulder blades. Setting up for uh, our side lying reach and roll. So pick a side, probably one facing, facing the camera. You're gonna lay on your side with your arms reaching out in front of you. Knees are bent up to a 90 degree angle as if you're sitting in a chair. So we're gonna kind of stabilize or lock in that low back so that we can move or mobilize that upper back. So you're gonna draw back on inhale. You'll draw that top hand back across your chest, rotating that upper shoulder down and that arm open, extending. Let your shoulder gaze follow that hand and trying to drop that right shoulder, if you're on your left side, dropping that right shoulder down to the floor and then rolling back. And then as you come back, again, you're in this position, you're going to open, sliding your fingertips along your arm, across your chest, imagining you're stretching or opening up those pecs, unwind that opposite top arm let your eye gaze follow it, open, and then come right back to your starting position. Now you can stay with this bow and arrow, or you can challenge yourself a little bit with a shoulder um, circle. So circling that top arm around, as you get to the top of your head, flipping the hand up towards the ceiling and drawing your circle on the floor, back to that start position, okay? So repeating that, if you're doing those shoulder circles, palm is facing down, and you're gonna draw with your fingertips on the floor, trying to keep contact with the floor. As you start to roll your mid back or your chest open, your hand will flip at the top, facing the ceiling, and fingertips, back of fingertips are sweeping around that back side down to your hip. And you're just gonna complete that circle and then rotate back. Okay, so let's do a few more of those and then we'll change sides. And you're trying to keep those, that low back locked and just getting your movement at the mid back and that chest, opening up the chest. Okay, if you've completed two more of those arm circles or you're completing just the bow and arrow, you're gonna change sides. So you can flip end to end, so you can still see the camera. So Jared's got his left hip down. So his top right hand is now going to perform the bow and arrow. So I ask people to, you can even reach forward and extend past that bottom hand. That's that serratus muscle. And then you're gonna pull back, keeping your bow and arrow tight, drawing it back and opening up. Jared, Jared, Jared might be struggling just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then come right on back to that bow and arrow position again. Some people like to open up and bring it back. Others like to just rotate back. Either, either is fine. One is kind of like an open book where you're bringing the hand back or you can just roll. I like the rolling because it gets a little bit more, more rotation, which we are all lacking. And then after you've done two or three of the open book or the reach and rolls, you're going to sweep that hand for an arm or a shoulder circle. Remember that top hand, fingertips are down. As it reaches the top of the head, the palm's gonna flip up towards the ceiling, palm facing up, landing by your hip, and then flipping your hand back over as you return to your start position. So performing a couple more of these shoulder circles 
And then just while you're finishing up the shoulder circles, um, we'll end on our back with our arms in a field goal post position. So kind of like that barrel motion, but you're gonna set your arms, shoulders, elbows, everything in kind of a field goal post position. I want you to quiet down your upper trapezius muscles. So draw those shoulders away from your ears. And I want you to just gently press your elbows into the mat or the floor for a count of five. Do not hold your breath. And if you find your low back is arching, I would like you to engage those lower abdominals, finding that neutral spine. So you're not all the way with your back pressed into the floor and you're not letting that, those hips tip forward. You're finding that middle point where you can engage those lower abs while you press your elbows. You should feel those muscles engage in the back of your shoulders, shoulder blades, finding those muscles in between the shoulder blades, and then release after five counts. I call this, in standing, I call this, I got no money. So if you were sitting at your desk, you could also perform this action. Otherwise, lying down like Jared's doing, you're If you can't rotate those shoulders back, come back up to the field goal position. Hold the field goal position, finding your pelvic tilt and just drive the elbows down. And you don't wanna create a rainbow or an arch. So your, all your ribs, everything should maintain contact with the floor. So if you can stay in this position and find those muscles, great. Once you get those arms overhead, if, if that shoulder allows you, you can open up that direction as well. Okay, we're gonna end with some, well, snow angels because that season is going to be upon us sooner than we would like. So just arms and legs actually. So sweeping arms up if you can and legs open and then sliding back together. Okay, so we're getting some hip motion along with it if you would like, or you can just do those arms. Again, imagining that shoulder blade just gliding along that rib cage. Let's do one more snow angel and then just stretch nice and long, arms and legs. Stretch as if you're, someone's pulling you in opposite directions. Nice and big, breathe, inhale. Exhale, bringing arms to your side and just resting. Just rest quietly for about 15 seconds here. Setting an intention for the rest of your day. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, sending that intention out. Thank you for joining us today. We will see you next week. And of course, let us know if you have any questions. Thank you, this is wonderful. Thank you, you're welcome.